in our morning rounds. When you eat might be just as important for your health as what you eat. A new review from the American Heart Association finds eating at certain times of the day can help lower the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Our Dr. Tara Narula is a cardiologist at Norwell Health. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Nora. Okay, what's the best time of the day to eat? So timing is everything. It's important when you fall in love, when you get your first job, and now when you wait, eat. Wait, 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 when you wait. fall in love? When what's you the best time? Your, well, <laughs> is that what you'd like to know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're learning that it's important when it comes to eating, and that a calorie in the morning may not be the same as a calorie in terms of how your body processes it in the evening. And as you mentioned, Nora, the famous saying, eat like a king in the morning, a prince at noon, and a peasant at night. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Why? Well, we're learning that it's because of the body's internal clocks. We have a central clock in our brain that's really dictated by light and dark, and that controls our sleep-wake cycles, our body temperature. But what's more fascinating is that each of our individual tissues and organs have their own clocks, and those are turned on or off by feeding or fasting. And those genes essentially control how we process blood sugar, cholesterol, how our immune system functions, our digestive system. And so what we've been doing for the last 40 years in terms of snacking and eating all throughout the day is causing our clocks to become desynchronous. When you look at animal studies, animals who are woken up in the middle of the night and fed end up having more inflammation, more mm -hmm. insulin resistance, and more weight gain. Because I've also heard that it's better to eat small meals, as you just said, throughout the day. This study says no, not so. Well, this study says there's not enough evidence to oh. point one way or another, this idea of grazing. So mm -hmm. there may be something to that in terms of lowering blood pressure and having better cholesterol. But when it comes to weight, the scientific evidence just isn't there yet to tell us about that. One of the interesting things the statement pointed out is that intermittent fasting actually was shown to reduce blood pressure and also potentially short-term weight gain. Mm -hmm. Meaning one day a week or meaning? Meaning what? alternate days or, yes, a couple days a week. But it a couple does of days work. to fast. Yeah. It, well, short term. They don't know if it's sustainable. And fasting meaning eating nothing and just drinking water? Eating nothing, yes. Eating mm, nothing. Can't do that. Limiting, limiting your calories. Mm, yeah. 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 I don't that. like that plan. But we know, so, people, we what, know people who've done that. <laughs> <laughs> don't like that plan. Yeah, yeah. But what's the link between a, a big breakfast? Right. And, and a healthy heart. We've been told from the time we were kids to eat breakfast. Yes, and yeah. so this. Norris, we were talking in the room today, Norris said we heard that in high school. Yes. But my mom has been telling me that, had been telling me that for years. Well, it probably makes sense. Even though 20 to 30 percent of Americans skip breakfast, yeah. this statement looked at breakfast eaters versus breakfast skippers. The breakfast oh. eaters had lower blood pressure, improved cholesterol parameters, better blood sugar, lower weight, and decreased cardiovascular events. Hmm. The thinking is that it may be that by eating breakfast, you set a healthy pattern of eating for the rest of the day. You get a lot of the important nutrients, vitamins, and minerals like fiber and calcium that you need at that breakfast meal. Um, and that, so that may be some of why. Also, maybe you spread out how your body processes blood sugar. You sort of help the insulin uh, work a little bit more efficiently. But are you really saying that it's, it's as important when you eat as what you eat? Mm. Well, I think both are important. In terms of if you eat too much sugar, I'll eat as much sugar as I want to as long as I eat it early in the morning. No, no. You have to eat a heart healthy diet, but certainly the what, when, and where is important. Yeah. And that's what the lead author of this statement right. said, that we need to practice mindfulness yeah. when it comes to eating and be intentional so that we, you know, we pay attention to the schedule of our eating throughout the day, that we sit down for our meals, that we don't multitask, that we don't watch TV unless we're watching CBS this morning. Right. Um, we don't very sit in front advice. of our computers. Yes, very good. <laughs> so I've always said better. moderation in everything is a very good thing to do. <laughs> yes. Is that what you've said? Where'd you, <laughs> you is... learn that, Terry? I stole that where'd from you. Where'd you pick that up? I don't know if that's a Moderation? I it. I know, because you don't believe it. <laughs> moderation in everything? Charlie? No. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Delving into dangerous territory. <laughs> no. Hold Doctor, on, Doctor. Yeah, I was just saying, Doctor, don't leave the table. We've got to discuss. That.